Hey there, hi there, ho there. Hello there, my name is Adam. Welcome back to the channel for Inc. Today, I've got some underbody toolboxes for my F450 that we're gonna start installing. Um, these are a buyer's product. They're 18 by 18 by four feet. Um, open them out of the box. Other than you can see a couple little whiskey dents here. Not sure how that happened, anything's possible. Um, they don't affect the opening and closing, so it's a work truck, so I'm not too concerned with it. But, uh, they, uh, they seem pretty stout. Open and close. Yeah, everything looks. Looks like they're going to be some solid units, so let's get kicking. Alright, end cap view of it. Uh, this is an 18 by 18 by 48 box. I mean, this thing, it feels nice and stout. Um, all the welds look really nice on it. I went over it. It's got, uh, the way it's bent, it really minimizes the amount of welding that's necessary. So, I think that's going to cut down on issues with cracking. So, nice feature there. Uh, as far as size goes, uh, it is 18 right on the nuts. And 18, maybe an eighth, you know, but uh, 18 by 18 is pretty well on the nut there. This way, like, we're 48, spot on. So, as far as size wise, it's real close. Uh, I've looked over the quality of this thing, it opens nice. I like the hinges, it's got the, the T handle kind of hinges or whatever, so you don't have to worry about the rods that are in other style hitches, hinges becoming loose or getting out of adjustment so I do I do like that um, the seal on it looks good the only quality thing that I see wrong with it is the end plate here has some distortion in it and there aren't any bumps or dents here like that something happened in shipping this looks like an issue with heat maybe when it was getting welded or something to that order it looks like distortion that was in the panel ahead of time because there aren't any scratches or any dents or anything in it so you could kind of see the reflection in the light here. You could see that. Let's see if I can get on the camera. Like this, see how that curves? It, you'd think that would be straight, which it should be, but you know, it's, the end's kind of wavy. The top is really nice and straight. The back is really nice and straight. Uh, and we're seeing the same thing on this other end cap. No visible damage from shipping or um, denting. You know, it, everything looks nice and square, but the end plate itself has some waviness to it. Um, I bought two boxes other one has the same stuff I'm not sure um, it's a big flat panel without any bends in it I just think this is maybe some sort of distortion that's happening during the welding process uh, nothing too major here um, the front yeah again uh, minimal minimal welding uh, necessary because of how they're doing the bends very smart on their behalf um, the paint looks nice I don't know if it's paint or powder coat but it looks pretty good um, Handles operate nicely, both handles have a lock, nice heavy cables here, so. Now we've worked our way around the front. Uh, front has a diamond plate pattern. I don't remember if I did that on purpose uh, because of my bed's diamond plate, but uh, I could care less if it was flat or if it was diamond plate. That's what I bought. Um, T handles, very positive feel. Cables here, they look decent, look nice. Are these self tappers? Yeah, these are self tap screws. I can see these over time becoming an issue, maybe being that it's just self tapped in and it's not like bolted in. Um, you can get a nut to the back side, you know, that's just a manufacturing keeps cost, cost down, I imagine. Nice long piano hinge. Over time, I guess that's going to become some sort of an issue just because of road grind. But an underbody toolbox, I don't imagine, is meant to last an extremely long amount of time. Uh, keys come zip tied to the back of the locks there, so that's where those are. It's got a sticker for proper maintenance and adjustment, is what it is. Inside of the toolbox too, nice, nice and flat, plenty of room. The opening itself, with the door open, is... 44 and 3 quarters inches and the height is 
15 and a quarter inches. So that's the size space that you have in there because there's lifts. You know, there's a, what do we got here? An uh, inch and three quarter lift roughly on each side it looks like, all the way around. Uh, nice rubber gasket that's tucked in there. It's not, so you, your flange here looks like it's gonna sandwich right up against that. It's not like it's a flat piece of insulation or whatever you want to call the ceiling gasket material that's just stuck to a flat surface it's going to tear off it's actually tucked into something that's actually nice it feels like good quality material but then again it's brand new so corners as well have they have like a flat piece that's just glued to them but uh, these don't ride around open so hopefully that'll those will stay in place again boom yeah. looks like a quality box let's get to installing Here's where I'm at so far in the installation. Um, I've got it decided where it's going to go. I bought these specifically to go ahead of the rear wheels and behind the cab kind of thing. Uh, my bed, the cross members are smaller than the side pieces, so they're recessed in there. Um, so if I were to have it all the way forward, I would have to, there would be a space between the top of the box and the cross members. I'm not going to attach it to the cross members, but I am using them to set its place. I've got a couple of C-clamps here and a jack and I jacked it up into place, got it where I liked it, C-clamped it, I've measured my depth, you know, and uh, I do know the door opens and closes. It's got just a little bit of clearance, but I actually intend to add like a quarter inch because um, I'm going to build the L-brackets to go underneath it. It's not going to bolt to the bed, it'll bolt to the frame. So the L-brackets that I have, I intend to actually um, leave a, make sure there's a gap at the top um, so that way the top of the box isn't rubbing on the bed, you know, um, if you're not going to bolt it, you end up, you hear that going down the road, that'll get annoying. Um, I don't know if I plan on putting any sort of gasketing material between the L bracket and the box itself. I guess time will tell. Fast forward, I guess you can find out. But um, yeah, so this is where I'm at so far. Next, we just got to take some measurements and start welding up some C-channel. Here's the bracket I come up with for the back, the driver's side, the back portion of the box. Uh, normally it would just be a right angle black bracket that would bolt right here to the side of the frame. But under there, there is the spring hanger mount, the emergency brake cables, and the cable, there's a cable mount there. So there's just not room to do it. Um, and you also can't get it far enough back so that you could put a diagonal brace on it. So. There's two existing holes in the bottom of the frame, which those match up to. This gets the drop we need, some gusset action, and uh, the other end will be able to have the big 90 degree piece with, uh, ooh, that's hot! Uh, big 90 degree piece with a uh, strap, you know, for extra, but for this end, this is just gonna have to do, uh, just for demonstration, this is how it'll sit. It'll be spaced away from the body. Um, space away from the frame that much, and it'll play on us right where we need it. Shit! Second bracket made, got some holes punched in it, ready to go. That'll sit. I mean, this is obviously backwards, but you can just kind of sit like that onto the frame, hold it where we want. Hopefully, we got it figured out. Behold, the underbody toolbox. Uh, supported by the brackets I made, I have a half inch grade 8, two holding the bracket to the frame, two holding the bracket to the, bracket to the frame, two holding the, the box to the bracket, another two holding the box to the bracket. She's stout. We got, uh, you know, that's just the door. Plenty of storage. Door has clearance to open and close. Jazzy. The other side will be a lot easier because I'll just have to make two 90 degree brackets drill four holes in the frame. I might even get lucky and catch a couple, who knows. Uh, but just matching it to this side shouldn't be that hard. I actually was able to reference it to a pinch point, uh, an angle in the bed here. So on the other side, I'll just do the same so they match. And that one, I'll just have to make two 90 degree brackets. Like I said, this one had the emergency brake cable in the way, which I actually had to unhook and run through the center of this bracket on this side here. Otherwise it would have interfered. I had to either cut it and I didn't want to do that. So it moves freely in between there. There's enough space between the frame and the box, the storage box here for it to do that. Um, so yeah, this one is installed. Uh, I suppose I could have painted these, but uh, they're probably, you know, I'm not going to sandblast them and primer them. I would just hit them with a coat. They're going to rust out anyways. And 
It's a work track, so. On to the other side.